Hello there, welcome back. Today I've come out to the beautiful North Wales town of Lamberis and you can see there's the car park, I'll just turn you around. The lake is just there, it's a very windy day but I'm going to get the lone tree at Lamberis there. Um, as I say, it's, it's, it has been raining on and off. The, the hills in the distance are black with clouds, they look absolutely fantastic, they do. So I'm going to try and put a filter on, maybe smooth the water. And let's see what I can do. Chime in a bit. Damn boy, the lone tree had a lot of at Lamberis. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I'm loving the really dark clouds in the distance. So I want to get set up quick and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So first little shot for this is going to be a vertical and what I'm going to do because the trunk of the tree goes off at a bit of a diagonal angle I'm going to line that up on the diagonal lines in the rule of thirds, I'm going to try and get the tree to look bang in the centre of the, the frame. I'll share the back of the camera with this shot and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So for this shot I'll just brighten it up a little bit for you and what I'm doing is the centre square on the rule of thirds, I've got the diagonal lines on as well, but I'm trying to line up the trunk of the tree coming up on the diagonal line just in front. Um, I think I may just put the base of the tree whoop, too heavy handed there right in the bottom of that square centre square with a line running along and yeah just to fill that uh, centre square with the tree it does look absolutely beautiful, some blue sky coming now I am just going to polarise and just try and get some detail in the foreground take some of the reflection off there, just so it's nice and dark and you can see the detail under the water settings for this, I've up the ISO to 200 and I'm shooting at f8 ah, um, don't attack that that's giving me 250th of a second just to keep the tree still and static I'm loving that bit of blue sky two second timers on there's a shot and there's a lot of ripple I can't get a long exposure because it is just too windy um, I can smooth the water but then the tree is going to look dreadful because it's moving about too much so I'll put this on for you right now drop me a comment tell me what you think This is going to be a test for the microphone today. Um, I am just going to wait now for this little bit of blue sky just to disappear. So I do think it looks so much nicer with just that dark moody sky behind. So I'm just going to hang on a minute. Although the blue looks good, I think it's going to look a lot better um, with all that beautiful black cloud behind. It looks fantastic. Let me turn you around. It is absolutely blowing a gale, you can see the tree moving it's blowing this all over the place now really really windy so the drive up here wasn't too bad um, it hasn't rained as much as they forecast they did forecast really heavy torrential rain but we've come through a couple of showers and that's it really, we've missed pretty much everything so I just need now 
for this little bit of blue just to disappear it is just catching that up there just catching the top left hand corner of the frame so I'm just going to hang on and see if I can get this shot then I'm going to take, I'm going to move around a little bit there is a little bush down there growing which I don't really want in the shot so I am moving around a little bit and hopefully we can cut that out if there's a little tiny bit I'm not bothered because I'm planning that out in Photoshop but the main thing for me right now is get rid of this blue sky I just want that moody dark atmosphere to the photograph it's amazing I'm just trying to just fine tune this scene a little bit now I've just moved around a little bit more so I want to try and get now the trunk right in the edge of the valley in the distance um, there's bits of blue sky keep appearing right above the tree which I'm trying to get rid of um, so I do just want this amazing dark moody sky um, I was hoping it was going to be a little bit calmer to put a, a, something like a neutral density filter on but with the tree moving about so much that's just going to be a massive mess just a bit of blur so for today I'd rather catch the tree static and suffer the the waves and the ripples on the water um, as you can see behind everything is absolutely blowing like crazy so I'm just going to wait now just for the just for the wind to just drop down a fraction so the tree's not moving that much or as little as possible to try and get the shots that I want it is beautiful and dark behind now so I'm also going to move around just a little bit more to put this just very slightly to the right in the frame um, I may even centre it still but to the right a bit and just try and line up the trunk the diagonal on the trunk with the diagonal of the hill in the distance over there just to the right of Dolberdon Castle don't think you'll see the castle on the photo it's not using 16mm but uh, it does look really good here beautiful so we have now just positioned the camera I'll just step back a bit and show you I'm right on top of this little bush just trying to push the tree just slightly to the right a little bit what I would say to you with compositions and a good tip to get to fine tune a composition is make small movements make small adjustments um, go from being extreme to the left to a little bit extreme to the right take shots in between the same up and down um, try a few low shots try a few tall shots um, when you look through them on your laptop you will just suddenly go I like that one best and you've got a range of photographs and you will have the perfect shot for you um, it's something that I tend to do a lot really um, just because while I'm here I want to try and maximize what I'm doing when the Sun does come through it's lighting up all this beautiful texture and the slate just in the water underneath the tree it looks amazing um, I really do think that with this lit up down there looks absolutely beautiful it does be nice if we can get a few rays lighting up the hills now just in the distance um, so again I will hold out just five ten minutes and see if that happens there's little bits of light on a few trees so yeah it does look really good it's a shame really with a 16 mil you do need 16 mil to try and get the top of the tree um, and a good foreground as well but you do cut out Dolberdon Castle in the in the background which looks absolutely incredible on its own there's a good shot to be had here uh, with a 70 to 200 mil or 300 mil if you've got one um, you have to cut the tree out because you're too close to it with a long lens but there's a fantastic shot of the castle to be had from literally right here it does look beautiful especially with the mountains dark or some snow capped it's beautiful it does 
So if you come to the lone tree, bring a long lens with you and there is a composition to be had of Dobberdon Castle from here. Especially if you can get to light up. The sun now is right behind the camera where you are and the castle is at 90 degrees so if a ray just shoots over there and lights it up, could be epic, could be epic. And they're rolled out and while we haven't got this real darkness and a bit of sunlight in the floor up, I'm going to grab a few shots. The light in there is absolutely incredible. The sun is lighting the tree up, it's lighting all the banks up. The castle was lit up just. Um, it's lighting all this slate up in the foreground. Looks absolutely fantastic. Um, so the tree is even looking really bright the way the sun is lighting it up. I'm just going to grab another shot. It does look just amazing. The slate looks fantastic. I think this printed up as a big print. And I think something like A2 will look absolutely incredible. Um, again, I've moved back over to the right hand side now. <coughs> I'll show you the back of the camera again as to the composition that I'm using now. Again, I'm still waiting for a array of lights just to hit the castle and hopefully just light that little area up. Would look beautiful. As you can see, the wind is absolutely horrendous. So, I'll just wait for this wind to die down and I'll show you the back of the camera. So, for this shot, as you can see, with the sun just lights everything up, the trees lit, the hill on the left is lit, the hills to the right are lit, the foreground down here looks absolutely incredible. The focus is just on the base of the tree. Um, I'm shooting at 16mm, so pretty much everything is going to be in focus anyway. There's no need to focus stack with this lens. Um, it does look just stunning. I've positioned the tree towards the left hand side of centre just so that we can get the far valley just down there in the shot as well. It does look really nice. I am absolutely loving this. It's refocused because I moved everything about. I'm going to take that shot now. Absolutely beautiful. We've now got a few paddle boarders coming in. Um, there are more on the bank over there that I can see. Just getting ready. I can hear noises behind me as well. So I think I may be pretty done. Um, I've been lucky really. It's, it's going to be 2 o'clock in the afternoon and usually this place is just full of paddle boarders. It's a shame that... Oh, off he goes. Don't know if he just said that. He just fell off his paddleboard. Try not to laugh too loud. If you are laughing, drop it in the comments below. I am inside. Um, it's a shame they use bright colours as well. Why can't they just wear black to match the water? Be a lot less work in Photoshop. But yeah, I think I'm done here now. Um, as I say, the sky is absolutely fantastic. Just look how dark that is absolutely loving it the sun suddenly comes out and just lights up this tree and the floor as you can see now absolutely lit up i'm gonna have to clone that body border out which is pretty easy to be honest in photoshop i am just going to underexpose a little bit really giving that bright and just take another shot um, it's beautiful. So in my last shot, I have just zoomed in and I've tried to fill the frame as a vertical image with a tree. Um, the only way you can really do this is with sort of 15, 16 mil lenses because the tree is growing ever taller. So the image looks beautiful. The back of the camera looks beautiful anyway. Um, check out the links below in the description. There's links to coffee if you want to buy me a coffee, any better your coffee. Uh, please do, your support is greatly appreciated. Subscribe, we'll do it all again next week. Drop me a comment on which you think is your favourite image. I've got loads to choose from, I'll probably put the best, or what I think are the best 
four or five on here and yeah let me know your thoughts as to which one you think is the best until next time enjoy the photos and take it easy